And now I'm very happy to introduce the next speaker, uh, Eriko Kasai and uh, uh, Witkowski from Poland. Hey, Greg. How are you? Oh, hi. I'm, I'm very fine. And how about you? Oh, I'm very fine. But what are you doing here? Well, um, I'm, participate in, I'm participating in this kind of beautiful event because this is a beautiful event on Facebook. Yeah, have you ever seen a, a tons of nice lectures? Impressive. Well, you know, we, we experienced a lot and that was amazing experience because we heard a lot of nice speakers. Well, something really to enjoy. And it's a very huge event directly. You can see it on your sofa. Yeah, you know, you don't have to leave anything. You just stay at home, you just listen, you just watch and you enjoy a great amount of knowledge about endodontics. Wow, incredible. But since I have just two minutes, could I share with you my new instrument that I'm using? Uh, it's about a couple of years. Yes, of course. It might be very interesting. Okay. Well, because as still Italian endodontics teach to us simple, feasible, teachable, repeatable, sometimes lecturing all around the world, it is a lot of confusion. People say, oh, we have a lot of tones and tones of instrument to use. Yeah, and you're right, because when, when the GP goes on the exhibition, he always thinks, what is the best solution for me? Which file should I choose? So yeah, this is a good question that you gave. So let's have a look what I'm using now, and let's speak about oh. reciprocal and wire. Yeah, tell me something about this. Oh, for pleasure, yeah. This file, and this is a classification that a friend of mine, Massimo Giovaruscio, will present with me. Uh, it's a single file, and single file is a benefit. Yeah, but, okay, so you're saying that you have the single file, but do you need any, like the glide path, or do I have to stay with hand files, or should I use just this file? Tell me. Yeah, so it's a reciprocating and wire and less get focus on the on the instrument. I would thank David Rios for this nice video and we 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 are looking it's a reciprocation movement so it's not rotating. So it's so the kind of movement is like can you explain in, in yeah. details what is the movement? Yeah the cutting ability is done in clockwise motion anti clockwise my motion is about okay. one hundred thirty degree and then the, the blades come out from the, a little bit from the uh, dentinal uh, walls. And so you, have, you achieve much more resistant to fatigue cyclists that you know actually is one of the main problem in endodontic instruments. Yes, because we as clinicians are very afraid of fracturing the instrument. So from what you're saying, it means that this kind of motion can help us improve our everyday practice. Yeah, for sure. And let's focus again much more inside the topics of this instrument. You can appreciate the S section, the efficiency and the cutting ability. Well, so you're saying that we have something like a hatch trim file, which was before that was manual and was one of the favorite files of the GPs, but the danger of that file was a breakage and too much prep preparation of the canal wall, unpredictable. But now we have the file from what you saw, what I saw, that it might be the solution. Yeah, and as you can see, we just, it's a very simple system and simplicity is one of our main topics because we have only three instruments. We go from a 25 to a 40 and to a 50 and the uh, taper is only fixed on the uh, apical part of the instrument to achieve also a better irrigation. Yeah, that is a point because we as clinicians, we as endodontists, we need to focus a lot on irrigation because this is crucial for our everyday practice and the outcome and prolonged satisfaction of the patient. So only three instruments to achieve any clinical scenario. So speaking about clinic, I would like to... Yeah, show me the cases yeah. because you talk, talk, talk and I just want to see the clinic. Yeah. Come on, I'm a clinician. Okay. That is an everyday, everyday clinic. So the patient come in my office with... Let me... Wait, wait, wait. I will look. Yeah, okay. Show me. Show, show me more. Wow. I want to see how you prep. So open your eyes, please. Okay. 
Let's go. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a case that probably is everyday cases. I manage only with one file, one reciprocating no. file. Yeah, it's Not one. Not possible. It's one. Really? Yeah. Okay. Show me more. Well, the distal part, the mesial part, only with the 25. Oh, 25. Yeah. Listen, I really like the shaping. This, this looks really amazing. But and take a look, oh, please, no. of the distal aspect. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And I see the, the curvature, but it, well, this is just an everyday dentistry and it looks perfectly. Yeah, but you missed one question to me. Why had I treated this tooth? That was the question I was intended to ask you. Yeah, I know you're curious, man. <laughs> so let's get back. And this is the reason. Removing the distal part of the old restoration, okay. we get a, a, a crack line. A crack line, okay. And let's get to another scenario where we have a very narrow canal oh, and you okay. achieve the everyday, also the very narrow canal with this type of instrumentation. Yeah, because we as clinicians always have a problem when we don't see the light of the canal space. So we judge the the x-ray and we don't see the canal itself, it must be very difficult. So you can achieve with the same system also variability of canal that we have to treat every day. Okay, but tell me, what is the state of the metal of this file? This is austenitic, right? Yeah. Okay. And why? You know, I'm going to show you something else. What? Well, look at this kind of file. How do you like this one? But it's very similar to mine. Well, in fact, it's very similar, but this is not the same file that you were using because it's differently heat treated. Are you joking me? Not really. And you have to see what I can do with my particular file. Can you do something like this? Wow, amazing. Well, the, the file that I'm using, I can pre-band and it can stay like that. I mean, for a long time. Wow. Yeah, and let me tell you why. Because all the night eye files, they have the state of the martensite and austenite. That was what I was asking about the austenite. Because the file in the austenite always remember, while the martensite let us go and prevent the file. Yes, but again, a lot of words, a lot of words. I would like to see clinic. Thank you for asking that. Let me show you a case, just a regular case. But before I'm showing you the case, I will tell you that the more flexibility we have, the less transportation we do. And let me present you the first case I would like to oh, show you. Oh, finally, a clinical case. Yes, I know, I know all the talking, 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 but you prefer to see clinical. Okay, let's go. So, that was a normal case. I just prepped it, uh, it's in the normal way, opened a lot of carriers, so I had to remove everything. And I prepped, I used, of course, ultrasonic for uh, proper cavity access. Then, I've located all the canals. And now, the magic starts. Well, I've started to prep just also with the one file, but this time, I used the Martin side file, which was the reciproc blue. And then after irrigation and after finalizing, please have a look at what I did. Wow, very nice results. But can you do also this? Because my file permits me to treat the difficult cases, difficult scenario, like everyday retreatments. And looking to this video, I will present you how I can easily remove a plastic uh, thermofill carrier. Well, my file can do lots of things. For example... No, no. Don't, don't force me. Because I, you, I know you are curious, and this is my clinical uh, ah, scenario. Okay, but one question, because I see the nice obturation. Can you tell me a little bit about obturation well, of these? Well, you are very curious and a smart guy. I use um, two um, carrier-based technique, so thermophile and uh, gutta fusion, and the continuous wave on the palatal. So That this, sounds 
What can I do with my file? That sounds nice. Let me show you some other things which are very important because in everyday practice we have big problem with curvatures. So can your file be so effective like this? Wow, but could you be suggest to use this file to also, not as a skilled clinician like you, but uh, for uh, all the people that are watching us and are not so skilled? Well, you know, as a summarizing of our discussion, I would think that both of the files are really great. And both of the files, they are such nice that we can share the ideas and we can share the files. So for your file, I would prefer to go with the red treatment, but for my file, I would go with the bigger curvatures. So together, for the victory. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you to the couple Kasai Vitoski for the movie, Let's Talk About Files. It was really a pleasure. And yes, the good news is that uh, instruments are changing and they're making our life better and simple. So thank you again, guys. It was a nice movie. Yeah, they had really acting skills. I didn't know they were also good actors besides endodontists. There are two jobs for them. <laughs> <laughs>